Hi, I'm Shannon and welcome to today's video. So today we are going over my all true winter 2021 box. Now I know this is a little confusing because I had my FabFitFun spring box just recently, but this is the winter box. So um, I think I talked about it in the fall box where uh, there was some some miscommunication. I didn't make, get to make my choices, but I had already made my choices for the winter box. However, it did state that if you selected certain things that because of supply chain issues, your um, box would be delayed. And there were, I think two of the six items I chose were going to be delayed. So um, not really surprising that my box was delayed. I think they went out, they were supposed to be delivered by March 20th and I'm filming this on March 15th, which is the day I got it. So I received it March 15th, which is um, like right pretty much winter ends on the 20th. So, um, but yeah, here is my all true winter 2021 box. So let's show you what I got. Okay, so just like FabFitFun, if you're an annual subscriber, you do get to make your selections for all of the choices. So I am an annual subscriber, so I did get to choose all six and customize my entire box. So let's go ahead and look at customization number one. And my choices were the Kama Home Plush Throw Blanket, Sizu Cozy Poncho Wrap Gray Stripe, the Graf Lance Carry On Travel Weekender, Yoon Yoga Foldable Yoga Mat, and the small hour set of two hinge stainless steel containers. And I chose the Weekender bag. So this is the bag and I actually really like it. It did come in this like little, um, you know, throw away, I guess, storage bag, but um, it's a really nice bag. So it, um, one of the things I like is it has this to go on a suitcase, to go on the handle of the suitcase to make it easier to carry. And I also like this zipper in the front here. It's a little pouch where I can put my, my cell phone or anything that's easy accessible. And then you have the inside right here. It also does have this strap, so really like that. Um, pretty concerned that this is going to get dirty pretty fast, um, but you know, it is what it is, but I do like the color. And then the other thing that I like is this little part back down here is something that is, um, you can actually store something else if I can get the zipper open and uh, let's see, there we go. The zipper open and you can see it is even stores more. So you can kind of keep something separate. So if you're like going to the beach, you could put flip flops or something down here. So we are going on a cruise in five days. So I will definitely be taking this on the cruise. I think this is a great bag for excursions to especially go to the beach when we go to Coco Cay. So I will definitely be taking this. Um, I was very excited. This was one of the items that was a supply chain issue and was going to be delayed. But of the five items, this was the, the easiest choice for me to select and I'm really glad. And I think this bag alone is worth the price of the box. Okay, next up is choice number two and the choices were the Symbiosis London Luxury Anti-Aging Skincare Set, Pudis Lifestyle Company Recycled Classic Slipper Socks, Fadam India Variety Tea Tin Set, and the Be Home Set of Four Dip Bowls. And I chose the dip bowls. So um, I don't even know why I chose these because to be honest, we never entertain. But um, I have Symbiosis London. I, I actually have their eye cream, it's really good. And I actually have a cleanser as well. Really great, I just have too much skincare. I didn't need any more. The socks, um, I, I might have, I maybe should have gotten the socks. I probably would have used them more. The tea, I, I'm, I'm a coffee drinker. I don't really drink tea too much, but these are really cute. So these are dip bowls and I like them. Um, so they are, they're a nice size. So if we ever were, to give you kind of perspective, if we ever were to entertain, I think they're very cute. Um, so they're all different varieties. You can kind of see here in the box, they're all kind of little bit of different varieties, but um, you know, and they go with our house. I think they're, they're pretty, you know, they're off-white with a, you know, a pretty dark blue. So I think it's really pretty. Um, you know, if I ever entertain, then I have some dip bowls. Okay, choice product number three. My choices were the Lark and Eve's Continental Snap Wallet, Jules K. Palm Pini, Territory Table Runner. And I chose the Table Runner, which again, I don't know why, because we never entertain and honestly my dining room table is just full of 
my son's toys. Right now it's, I'm packing. So <laughs> it's just like all my clothes for my trip before I put it in my suitcase. So our dining room table is never used for dining. It is usually used for storage, um, you know, but I do really like this is really pretty. And one of the things I do like is that it, um, it goes with the dip bowls. <laughs> so if you see, let's, Let's see, the dip bowl, um, they match, so it matches. So if I were to ever entertain, I have a table runner and a dip bowl, but um, it's really pretty. However, when I got the box and I was like, okay, this is pretty, and then I realized when I was preparing for this video, realizing that I probably should have gotten the, the palm beanie, especially since I'm ice skating re recently, and I can always use another hat while I'm ice skating, so probably should have gotten the palm beanie. That was probably something that I didn't think of back in November because I had just started ice skating at that point. Um, but now three months later, actually almost four months later, I, I kind of wish I had gotten the beanie, but um, you know, I think I'll eventually use this. You know, maybe it'll give me, you know, between this and the dip bowls, maybe it'll give me an, ex <laughs> an excuse to have people over. Okay, so for choice product number four, there was only two choices and they were the La Meno Treasure Earrings and the Natura, uh, Castra, Castana hand and foot cream duo. I probably butchered that. So you probably can see I am wearing the earrings and they are pretty dainty. So this is obviously what I chose, um, the hand and foot cream. I mean, I probably would have used that eventually, but I have a lot of hand cream, so I really didn't need that. These are really interesting. They're very, very dainty. Um, honestly, you forget that they're on. I, I forget they're so light that you totally forget that they're on. And then one of the things you can do is if you see you can kind of pull it through and have it look like that so I think that's probably the way I would wear it um, you can do that as well so it's just not as long I would not get these if you have a little one like a baby or a toddler who likes to pull because this would totally I mean this is just asking for a toddler to pull this but um, I think they're cute I think they're cute you know would I have bought these on my own no I would not have bought these on my own but you know, I, I like them. Okay, choice product number five. There were three choices and they were the Brow Atelier Revitalizing Brow Enhancing Serum, Karma Naturals Festive Nail Polish Bundle, and the Lujo Bar Eucalyptus Shower Steamers, a set of four. And I actually chose the shower steamers. I love these. I have not tried these specifically, but I think it was VIX. There was a company, I think it was VIX, it was an over-counter that used to sell these. And they're fantastic. Like you put them in the steam, if you're sick, you put them in the shower and the steam, you put them in a hot shower and it will help you um, like breathe, especially if you have a sinus infection or you're sick, it, they are amazing. Um, there was an over-the-counter, but they don't sell them anymore. And I remember being sick and I could not find them. So when I saw these, I knew I wanted these. Um, I'm hoping they work just as well as I remember those other ones because those were years ago. But these are, I mean, I'm really looking forward because I remember those being amazing. So I'm sure that these are gonna be as just as good. They're, they're pretty much set up the same. So I will, once I do, I'm going to save them for when I'm sick, which you know hopefully won't be for a while, but you can see them here. I will, whenever I do use them, I will you know post a comment or put it in the description box as far as if, if I really like them. Because if they, I do really like them, I will definitely repurchase because this is a product that if you've ever been sick and you know when you feel when you feel better when you take a shower this just even makes it better it's kind of like that you know putting vix vapor rub kind of the same thing but in the shower so i hope these work really well um and if they do I, this is something i'm really i will repurchase over and over again and for the sixth and final choice there were three choices and they were the woolsey laundry and linen spray set Net Zero Company set of 12 silicone baking cups and the Mud Masky Melting Mud Cleansing Mask. And I chose the Laundry and Linen Spray Set. So I love, I think there was one, there was Woolsey's that have where you spray. Now these are ones where you can spray it onto the wool wall. Um, and use it for the for the for the dryer, or as your um, laundry comes out, you spray your laundry as it's still like warm out of the dryer. That's how I will probably use these. So the scents are um, Still Breeze, Citrus Clean, 
petal fresh. So Still Breeze is clearing scents of soothing lavender and floral jasmine. Citrus Clean is fresh citrus scents of lemon orange and lemongrass. And Petal Fresh is wonderfully sweet scents of floral rose and smoky sandalwood. Citrus Clean is probably going to be my personal favorite. But um, I am really excited to try these. I love using like all natural, you know, um, essential oils to make my laundry and, you know, sheets. Everything smell really great. So very excited to try these. Um, so yeah, I, I, this was to me the clear choice for me. So final thoughts for the all true winter, and I'm not even sure if this is winter 2021 or winter 2022 box, because I don't know, um, whatever, the winter box for all true. And I will say of the six products, three of them I really like. The bag I really like, the, the laundry and linen spray, and the eucalyptus shower uh, melts. I mean, tells you how exciting I am. Um, you know, the dip bowls, the table runner, and the earrings, I think are nice. Um, hopefully I will use and uh, the dip bowls and the table runner at some point, the earrings, I will, you know, I will use. Um, I like them. So, but would I have purchased those on my own? No, I would not have purchased those on my own. But the bag, definitely I will be using. I'll be using that in the next week or so. And the laundry spray, I think is great. Uh, I think that's a great product as well as the eucalyptus. So all in all, I think it was a, a good box. It was a, was it a great box? No, but I thought it was a good box. Um, definitely worth for me, worth the wait, choosing at least the bag. That's the one I remember being um, going to be delayed. So definitely worth for me to wait for the bag because of the other products would not, I would not have, have wanted them and definitely not have used them like I would the bag. Oh, my only regret is I probably should have picked the beanie instead of the table runner, but that's my own fault. I chose the table runner. Didn't think about using the beanie, um, you know, so maybe next time. But all in all, I thought it was a good box. I already made my selections for spring. We'll see how long it takes for that box to get delivered. And with that, if you like this video, click like, click and subscribe. That way you get a notification every time I post a new video. Bye everyone. <laughs>